Welcome to Saxon Math, Course 1, Lesson 14. Today we're talking about negative numbers on a number line. Our objectives for this lesson, after this lesson you should be able to use a number line to order and compare integers, identify numbers that are opposites, and use a number line to subtract a larger number from a smaller number. Some review from our last lesson. We did problems about comparing, and those follow a greater minus lesser equals difference pattern. So bigger number minus smaller number is the difference. And we also did problems about elapsed time. So that was our later date minus earlier date equals difference pattern. Our new concept for today, we talked a little about number lines before. Remember that number lines have positive and negative numbers on them. And here are some things you need to know about negative numbers before we start using them. All negative numbers are smaller than any positive number. So even the smallest positive number you can think of is bigger than negative 1. So just remember that. All negative numbers are less than 0, and all positive numbers are more than 0. And this is what confuses the most people. When negative numbers look like they're getting bigger, they're actually getting smaller. And here's an example. Negative 6 is actually smaller than negative 1 because the farther you get away from 0 on the negative side of the number line, the smaller the numbers get. And negative 6 is farther away from 0 than negative 1, so negative 6 is smaller. You also need to know that Positive and negative numbers are opposites. So, for example, 10 and negative 10 are opposites of each other because they're the same distance away from 0 on the number line but on opposite ends of the number line. 10 would be on the right side of 0, negative 10 would be on the left side of 0, but they're both 10 places away from 0. So, those are considered opposites of each other. Subtracting a larger number from a smaller number up until now is something we said we couldn't do. But now we're going, since we've talked about negative numbers, we can do that now. So think about subtraction, remember, is taking away. So if you take away more than what you started with, your answer is a negative number. If you started with, with $10 but you spent $12, then you owe someone $2. You have negative $2. In order to find the answers to problems like this, all you need to do is switch the numbers around, do the subtraction, and make your answer negative because you know when you look at the problem, you'll be able to tell that it's a, your answer is going to be negative. So here's an example, 3 minus 7. Just looking at that problem, I know my answer is going to be negative because 7 is bigger than 3. And if I'm taking away a bigger number than I started with, my answer has to be negative. So now you can just switch the two numbers around and subtract, and you know your answer is 4. But since it was 3 minus 7 at the beginning, it's negative 4. So that kind of goes back to positive and negative numbers being opposites. Your answer is going to be opposite when you switch the two numbers around. That's all for your class today. Make sure you do your practice problems, post any questions you have, and we'll talk about them next time. We'll see you in lesson 15.